Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part seven of the same topic. In that we'll do innings nine point four. So in the first problem they said that a table is sold for rupees five two to five after allowing a discount of five percent. You have to find the mark price. So now let us consider the mark price as hundred. So discount is given as five percent. So discount is actually the five percent of the mark price. The other mark price is hundred. So five percent means whenever there is a percentage sign, we divide it by hundred into hundred of means multiplication. So this gets cancelled. So that is discount is five rupees. Now here again the here there will be many formulas you have to remember. So the formula for the discount for the selling price. So here the selling price is mark price. Minus the discount. So mark price we have considered as hundred. So hundred minus this discount is five. So that is going to be ninety five. You can also write here. It is ninety five. So now if selling price is ninety five, then mark price is what is that? That is hundred. So if when selling price is given as five two two five because it is sold for five two two five, then we have to find the mark price of that. So what will you do? You are going to Multiply this into this, so that is going to be five two two five into hundred, and this will go into denominator ninety five. So when you divide this five two two five by ninety five, we get fifty five. So fifty five into hundred, that was going to be fifty five hundred. So we can say the mark price is rupees five thousand five hundred. A, man a manufacturer allows a discount of ten percent on his products and still makes a profit of twenty percent. Find the cost price of an article marked as rupees eight hundred. So here the mark price is given as eight hundred, and the discount is ten percent first. So now discount is what ten percent of the mark price. Here the mark price is hundred eight hundred. So we will write here eight hundred. So otherwise you can also put one sentence over here ten percent of the mark price, and then you can write it eight hundred over here. So ten percent means ten by hundred into eight hundred. So this will be. Eight. So this that will be rupees eighty. So discount is rupees eighty. So selling price is what? Mark price minus discount. So what is the mark price? That is eight hundred minus this discount is eighty. So that is seven hundred and twenty. So now they said here, and still makes a profit of twenty percent. So profit is given as twenty percent. So now we have the selling price over here. So what will you do here? Selling price is This formula, there is a formula. Hundred plus profit percentage divided by hundred into the cost price because we want the cost price here. So what is here? Hundred plus profit percentage is twenty, and this will be hundred into cost price. So this is going to be what is here? So here you can also put here also seven twenty. So this will be hundred and twenty divided by hundred into this cost price. This this is the selling price. That is, we got here seven hundred and twenty. So now this zero and this zero gets cut. So now what will you do here? Twelve by ten. So now this ten will go on this side. So that is going to be, and this will be in the denominator if it changes the side, and this CP is on the same side. So twelve ones are twelve six are seventy two. So that will be sixty. And here will be into ten. That is going to be six hundred. So that the cost price is six hundred. So that what is the what is they are asked for? So they have asked here. The what is the find the cost price of an article marked at rupees eight hundred. So this is the cost price between. A dealing offers. A dealer offers twenty five percent discount on all. All articles. Find how much will a customer pay for the articles marked at the following prices. So, a table marked at rupees twelve thousand. So, what is the discount here? That is twenty five percent. So, discount is twenty five percent of what they say. Find how much will a customer pay for the articles marked at the following. So, twenty five percent of the mark price. So, mark price is twelve thousand. So, twenty five percent means twenty five by hundred into This will be multiplied, and this is the twelve thousand. So these two zeros get cancelled. 
So when you multiply this, you get that is rupees three thousand. So now final price is what the this was the mark price was twelve thousand, and you got a discount here at this is three thousand. So the final price is nine thousand. So they said find how much will a customer pay for the article. So that is nine thousand. A shoe rack marked as rupees eight thousand. So discount is what? Again here the twenty five percent of the mark price. So twenty five percent of eight thousand. So twenty five by hundred into eight thousand. This get cancelled. So when you multiply this, you get rupees two thousand. So what will be the final price? The mark price minus this. Discount, so that will be eight thousand minus two thousand. That will be six thousand. A designer show piece marked at rupees sixteen thousand five hundred. So discount is again twenty five percent of this marked price. So sixteen thousand five hundred. So this is going to be twenty five by hundred into sixteen thousand five hundred. So when you multiply this, you get four one two five. That is rupees. So final price is sixteen thousand five hundred. Mark price minus discount, so sixteen thousand five hundred minus four one two five. That is going to be twelve thousand three hundred and seventy five. And Almira marked at rupees six thousand five hundred. So discount is twenty five thousand of six thousand five hundred. So here again twenty five by hundred into six thousand five hundred. These two zeros get cancelled when you multiply this. So that is going to be one six two five. So final price is mark price minus discount. So Six thousand five hundred minus one six two five. That will be four eight seven five. What price should a shopkeeper mark on an article costing him rupees fifteen hundred to gain twenty percent after allowing a discount of ten percent? So now let us consider the mark price is X. So cost price is what is given here, costing him rupees fifteen hundred, and the gain percent is twenty percent, and the discount is. Again, ten percent. So, what is that gain percent? Is what gain divided by CP into hundred. So, gain percent is twenty. So now we don't know what is the gain, and what is given here? CP is given as fifteen hundred into hundred. So these two zeros get cut. If this goes on the on this side, that's going to be fifteen, and that is gain. So this is going to be rupees three hundred is gain. So now let us see the profit. Profit is selling price minus. Cost price. So, what did you get? The gain means that is only the profit. That is three hundred, and selling price we don't know, but the cost price is fifteen hundred. So, three hundred. This goes on the other side. That is going to be plus fifteen hundred. That will be the selling price. So, we get the this when you add it, we get the selling price is eighteen hundred. So now, what did they ask here? What price should the shopkeeper mark on an article? So, selling price is. Mark price minus the discount. So this is eighteen hundred is mark price, and the discount is what? How much is the discount given? Ten percent. Ten percent of the, that is the mark price. So ten percent. Ten percent of X. So now the mark price is what we have considered the mark price is X. So this is going to be the X minus. Ten percent of X means this is ten percent means ten by hundred X. So this will be. The same is going to be hundred. So hundred x minus ten x that is going to be ninety x by ten by hundred. So this gets cancelled. This will go on this side. So that is going to be eighteen hundred into ten, and this will come on this side nine, and x will be here itself. So this will be nine ones or nine twos, or that will be two hundred into ten. That is going to be x. That is two thousand. So x we have considered as the mark price. So the mark price is two thousand. And they have asked for the what price should a shopkeeper mark on an article? For the manufacturing company, a pair of shoes cost rupees eight hundred. They sell it to the retailer at a profit of twenty percent. The retailer marks the price fifty percent above the price he paid to the manufacturing company. Later, he allows a discount of fifteen percent. Find the amount paid by the customer for the pair of shoes. So now, first thing, what is the cost price of shoes? That is, eight hundred. Then selling price to retail, retailer. They sell it to the retailer. That is the twenty percent. So eight hundred 
plus 20% of 800. That will be the selling price. So 800 plus 20% means 20 by 100 in 200. So now let us solve this separately. This will keep as it is. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is going to be 160. So when you add this, that is going to be 960. The selling price to the retailer is 960. So now what is the given? The retailer marks the price 50% above the price he paid to the manufacturing company. So now again the retailers, um, this is the mark price is 9, 960 plus 50% of the Again, the selling price to the retailer. So 960 plus 50 percent means 50 by 100 into 960. So this will be as it is. This is going to be going to say solve separately. So this and this goes up. So when you write multiply this, that will be 4,800 4, divided by 10. So the, again, this and this gets cancelled. We could have cancelled here itself. It's okay. So now this and this gets cancelled so 9, 960 and this will be 480 so this when you add this that is going to be rupees 1440 so now again what did they say letter letter he allows a discount of 15 percent so now discount offered by retailer 15 percent of this 1440 so 15 by 100 into 1440 so this and this gets cancelled so this should be 2160 divided by 10. So that is going to be when you divide it by 10, that is going to this and this will get cancelled. So it is going to be 216 rupees. So amount they ask find the amount paid by the customer for the pair of shoes. So what is that amount paid by the customer is what? How much is it? Retailers mark price that is 1440 minus this discount of offered by retailer so that is rupees one two two four so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other part thank you